Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am at Talese, which I actually haven't done a video of me thrifting at Talese. And if you don't know what Talese is, it's pretty much a value village, but I think they're only in Canada, I'm pretty sure. I think they're very popular in Ontario, but they have a few in British Columbia. So I'm at Talese today and they have a sale, which I am so bummed about. I love when they have sales. They're, yeah, yeah, they're just so, so. They have everything 30% off today, so it's not as good as 50% off. Obviously. But it's still pretty dang good. So I'm really excited to go thrifting. So let's go see what I can find. <laughs> So I'm in the menswear and I just found this Adidas one, which is really, really cute and $3.99, so it'll be 30% off, so that will be a pretty good deal. Also found this Hilfiger, it's a little more pricey, but I definitely think I could do a nice thrift flip with this. So I think I'm gonna try this one too. I think it's really cute. And then I also found some blank shirts that I want to do thrift flip with and put like that little hanger with thrifter in it, that design I created because it like sold out right away. So I want to make some more. So I'm just grabbing those t-shirts and yeah, I'm just going to keep going at these t-shirts. Like, look at this. It's a sale day and it's so empty in here, which I'm not complaining at all. I love when it's empty because then it just gives me more space so I can film and it's just, yeah, I just love when it's empty. Ooh, I was just looking for the blues, which usually I don't because I don't wear a lot of bright blues, but I found this NASCAR shirt, which I've never found a NASCAR shirt before, so I'm super pumped about this. Um, definitely gonna try it on and see how it looks. I think it's, yeah, it's just blank from the bat, but man, I'm finding a lot of really good shirts today. Ooh, I really like this shirt. I don't know why, but I just love this pattern. I think it's vintage. It's got this cool tag. Yeah, oh, ignore my nails. They're, they're terrible right now. another Tommy shirt. I'm not sure about this one. Not, I don't know. I'm not a huge, huge fan of like the bright yellows. Oh, and actually it has a hole there. So yeah, I'm going to pass. This one's really cool. I haven't seen one like that before, but yeah, it's really rad, but I'm not really a big fan of like the V-neck. So I'm going to leave that one, but it's actually not a bad price. It's like $3.99, which if you watched one of my past videos, um, the Value Village has their shirts for like $11 right now. So $3.99 is a steal. Oh, here's another one. Not a big fan, so I'm gonna leave that one, but that one is $4.99, so not bad. Oh my gosh, look at these. I actually haven't seen one like this, like a one like that. I've seen the, you know, the actual Tommy logo like that, but I haven't just seen it say Tommy Jean. So this one's really cool. I wonder if this is a women's or a men's pair. It says 30. Hmm. They look pretty good. I don't know. They're not my size, so yeah, I don't know if I want to get them for my store or not. Unfortunately, they are not my size, but they look really, really high-waisted, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try them. And if they don't work for me, maybe someone else will like them if I put them on my store. I absolutely love this color. This is like my dream pair of denim right now, is to find one that's like kind of like a beige off-white color, because I have a white pair, but I do not have like an off-white pair. So, oh, those look so cute, but they're not my size. They're like a 36, oh, they're vintage. So definitely won't fit, but oh, those are so cute. Oh, these color jeans, I love them. But again, they're way too big, so not my size. But man, if they were my size, those should be Levi's. Frick, I would have snatched those up so fast. So I'm just walking by the vest here in the women's section. And then I noticed this, first of all, because I right away I was like, okay, there's an Aritzia tag here, brand new still tag here and it's actually a top but they put that in the vest section just because it ties like that so they thought this was the front but it is not it is the back but it is so nice it's just like light pink so not my color but it is so nice well obviously it's like brand new but it is $15 so that's not too bad considering that someone bought it for 44 so I'm gonna leave it but 
You definitely want to check all of this section because you have no idea what you'll find. Ooh, this slip dress is so cute. I don't know why I love this pattern so much. It is so adorable. I don't know. I don't know if it'll look good on me, but maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll try it. Let's put this in the cart. Damn, I've been here for like five minutes and it's almost all full. this leather coat and I think it's so cool but I don't know it has like this like cinched which is not at my waist it's like at my butt so it kind of fits a little weird for me but oh I just love this color and it's like a vintage coat oh my gosh yeah I'm not gonna get it but man there's so many good vintage finds here today and I hate that I have to keep squatting every time I <laughs> try something on in the mirror look what I just found this vintage coat like are you kidding me it is like the perfect color too and it's only $12.99 like are you kidding me this is such a freaking score but it looks really really small you know it says like 910 which there is vintage for you it is really really small so I don't think it will fit but we'll, we'll have to try it Dang it, this one's too small, but oh, it is so freaking pretty. Cause again, these are too short, these mirrors for me. The bend down, <laughs> way too small. It looks like a child's coat on me. So definitely not getting this one, but I, I really wish I was. Look at this guest jacket. This is really cute. $25. Hmm. I'm just looking for the denim now. Hopefully I'll find like a good denim jacket. Who knows, even though I don't really need any more. Wait, wait, wait. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this music is way too loud. I need to go look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I can't believe. I just can't, I just can't believe I found a vintage Guess denim jacket that's like the perfect size. It's a size two. Oh my gosh. This is like the best day ever. I, I, I can't speak, I can't speak. Okay, well, first of all, before I have a freaking meltdown, I think I'm gonna go try it on now and just see how it looks because it, it better look nice because I've just hyped this up so much already that it, it has to. Okay, I'm trying it on. I'm trying it on. Oh, shoot. So excited. A literally a perfect fit. Oh my gosh. But I need to hide this because someone's gonna steal it. Okay, I'm having a really hard time focusing now after I found that. I'm in the women's section now, just looking through the tees. And all I'm thinking about is that jacket I just found. Like, I want to go outside and just scream right now. Oh my gosh, I so remember when I only used to wear Aeropostale. Aeropostale? Aeropostale? I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but I, oh my gosh. I remember when I only wore that in like elementary school. That brings so many memories back, this shirt. In the women's t-shirts so far, I haven't found anything yet, but actually, now that I realize, I just looked through all the colors I hate, so that is why I haven't found anything yet. So I probably should go to the, what is this? Star Wars, oh. Probably should move to the colors I actually like, and then I'll probably find something. Oh gosh, I did pretty well in the men's tees, so not sure how I'll do in the women's tees. They seem to have a lot of actual t-shirts in the women's tees, which usually they just put all the tees in the men's, so obviously they're a bit better here with the organization compared to Value Village. this Adidas shirt and it is $9.99 but I literally just found one in the men's section that was $3.99 so it doesn't really make sense at all but this one is really really nice like it's nice and soft and it's like brand new so I don't know $9.99 that's a little steep for me Ooh, 
this is cute. I really like this. It's brand new with tags too. Like, look at this. How much was it? Okay. 45 on for 20 and then they want to sell it for 10. Hmm, 50% off. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I like it though. I'm going to try this on. This is really cute too. But it's a large, which I don't think a large is going to fit me. Yeah, I don't think it will. But it's so cute. It's brand new with tags too. Like, it was $25 and they're trying to sell it for $5.99, which I think that's, that's fair. I think that's fair. It's brand new. But I... It's going to be too big, so I'm going to pass. I'm going to leave it for someone else to take it because it is really pretty. This whole thrift trip, I've been having to like pull out tissue like every couple minutes to wipe my nose. It honestly sucks. I, I forgot how shitty it is to be sick. It's probably ruined my whole makeup here. It's probably like bright red. Hopefully you can't see that. Look at this vintage sweater. It is like an Olympic license one. Wow, this is really cool. It does say IBM on it, so I'm wondering if it was like IBM's gear they wore, like the employees, they wore this during the Olympics. I don't know, but it's really, really cool. One sweater, which I kind of really like, it has like these denim collar, and then it's kind of like a denim looking sweater, but oh my gosh, it is so cool. But it is like $12.99, which is kind of pricey, but I really like it. So I'm gonna try it on, add it to my pile. Another vintage sweater. Look at that tag. It is so pretty. This one is Sudden Valley, but oh gosh, there's so many vintage sweaters. I think this one, no, this one's not vintage, but I found a few vintage now, so I'm assuming someone donated their whole collection. Now I find the nice big mirror to try everything on. Like, look at this. This is amazing, this mirror. The other one was cutting off my head, so I'm definitely gonna come back here if I need to try any of this on, which I will, so I'll be back there. Okay, I'm getting kind of bored in the women's section, so I think I'm gonna go to the... Hmm. What section is fun? Actually, actually, I know fun section. I want to go to the men's hoodies and crewnecks. It's a section I haven't been to yet, so I'm gonna go there and see if I can find any vintage crewnecks, because I freaking love vintage crews, so let's go there. That's pretty cool, but no, I don't want sweaters. I want hoodies. Here it is. Okay getting distracted already, but mm, this one's kind of cool. Ooh, I like this color. Home is Canada. Yep, that is so true. I really like that color, by the way. This granny sweater. I really actually like it. It's so cute. Where is it? It's like, I don't know, 2000s? I don't really know. I'm just guessing, but that's actually really cute. This one, this one's really cute. I like the color too. Um, it is $6.99, but it is H&M, and I usually don't like to buy like H&M or Forever 21, but it is like kind of brand new, so I'm gonna actually try it, add to my pile. <laughs> Start your computations. Oh my gosh, I just found this Tommy Hilfiger white cardigan and then this Gap sweater. So pretty, it's like this one. Kind of. I'm so freaking stoked that I found these. sweater and I think it's so cool like it's so funky and I don't know a little bit of boho style I would say it has like little frill in arms and I think it's really cute I don't know it's hard to tell when I have a sweater underneath okay so now here is the granny sweater I don't know if I'm loving like the pink and the blue there now but it is a really nice fit but mm, yeah I think I'm gonna pass on this one but it is cute. It's just not really my style here. Okay, and here is the grandpa sweater denim sweater where it has like the denim collar and I'm not in love with this one either. It has some like stains now that I'm noticing like right there. So definitely gonna pass on this one, but it, it was it was close. It was it was really close. 
Okay, so I got rid of a whole bunch of sweaters that didn't work. So now I'm gonna make my way over to the dresses and hope I find something there. And then after that, I'm gonna go try on. I'm absolutely having no luck in the dresses right now. They all kind of suck. This is pretty patterned, but not the dress. Oh, yeah, this, this sucks. Ooh, what is this actually? Mm -hmm. It's brand new with tags. I have no idea what brand that is, but that's actually not bad. But yeah, I'm just not having any good luck. So I'm probably just gonna go try on now and see how, ooh, what's this actually? Uh, no, okay. I think I'm just gonna go try on now. Finally, a big fitting room. And you can actually bring nine items. So that's a bonus. I love this. This is so cute. I absolutely love this. Yeah, definitely, definitely getting this one. Everyone can definitely hear me talk right now and it's really awkward. Anyways, this one definitely is very Brandy Melville, especially with these jeans. I feel like I've seen this definitely on their website, this whole outfit right there. And here's that NASCAR shirt. This one's actually really rad. I'm not a fan of the blue, but I think I'll get it anyways, because look at it. It's just so cool. Um, no, I'm not really a fan of this one. Okay, mm -hmm. It's kind of big. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I want this one or not. Um, yeah, this was, this was a bad idea. <laughs> mm -mm. They look, see, it looks like a skirt, but then it's not. They're really comfy though. I don't know if I'll get them just because I don't know if I'll wear them, but... Hmm. Hmm. Decisions. Decisions. Yeah, the home decor section kind of sucks. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go home or I'm gonna pay first and decide what shirts I want to get because I have like a hundred in here. So I'm gonna go do that and then I will see you at home when I try all this on. Okay, I went back to the t-shirt section and found more but now I'm finally ready to go check out. So let's go and then I'll see you at home. Okay, so we are back home now and I am so pumped with everything that I found. I did amazing at this 30% off sale at Talese and I went again. I went to a different store. I went to a different location of Talese and I found a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna include that into this haul. So you're gonna get a little extra bigger haul in this one. So hope you don't mind, which you, you probably don't. You probably wanna see it anyway. So. I'm excited, we got two freaking hauls today, so let's just get into the haul. I'm gonna try to fly through this because I have a lot of items to go through, so let's just, let's just, let's just start. So the first item I have here is this sweater from Gap. It is probably from like the 2000s, it's definitely not a recent one. It is like such nice quality, it is so thick, it is like perfect condition. I absolutely love like this Aztec pattern it has. Oh, it's just, it's so pretty and it's just like such a nice color that when I saw this, it just like stood out in the rack and I was like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm getting that sweater. Um, I'm getting it. I don't remember the pricing for it because I washed a lot of these clothes or all of them, not some of them. I washed all these clothes, tags off, but I'm pretty sure I didn't spend that much. Who knows? The next item I have is this freaking NASCAR t-shirt, which is so cool. I absolutely love this shirt. The blue's not my kind of color, so I'm gonna put this in my shop, which I hope someone else like this, but I'm like always on the hunt for like these NASCAR, you know, kind of vibe shirts. Like they're just so cool. So I'm so happy I found this. I hope someone will enjoy it. I don't remember the pricing because again, I washed all this stuff, so who knows? The next item I got were these Tommy jeans, which they don't fit me, they're a little big. They're size 30, I'm assuming 30 men's, which doesn't usually have like a 29 or men's, so maybe they'll fit. I never tried them on, just cause I just, I just bought them because I liked <laughs> this Tommy. So I'm thinking about doing like a thrift flip or putting them into shorts or doing something fun with them, just because it wasn't like the bottom end, like the, sh it's more of like a wider leg and I'm not like, it's not like a really nice wide leg. I like wide leg, but this is not this wide leg. It's, is it? That was a really bad explanation. This is just not my style, so I'm gonna make it into something that will be, or if they don't fit, then they'll end up in my shop. But I just really like this tag, and I haven't seen one like this before, so I saw it and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get those. Okay, the next one I got, which I'm, I'm so excited about. I am 
I absolutely love this piece. I got this brown cardigan, which I've been looking for like super simple, just like cardigans like this for a long time. And I just had like a really hard time finding them for some reason, which is crazy because I thrift all the time and I haven't really been able to find ones I like, so. Very strange, but I finally did, so I'm super happy about that. This one's from H&M, it's a size small, which I generally don't buy H&M or Forever 21 or those type of brands from the thrift store. I like to get like a higher quality one, but this one was like brand new. It just fit really nice and it was a really nice color that I was like, I'll just get it. It, it seems nice. I'm so excited about this, especially with spring. It's like a nice little light sweater for spring, so I can definitely wear this a lot coming up. Okay, the next one is also another cardigan, which clearly I was just like doing well in the cardigan sweaters. Yeah, I don't know. It's so weird. Okay, anyways, it is this Tommy Hilfiger cardigan, which is so cute. It's just like a nice white one. This one's more like a v-neck, which the other one was more of a high, higher collar. Mm, no, mm, I don't know what I'm saying, but it's higher here where it buttons up. Anyways, so this one's a little bit different, and of course it's white. This one is really nice it's like brand new just like the other one so i was super stoked to find this i believe i only spent like a few dollars for each of those cardigans so that is amazing for like brand new clothes i don't i really don't know where i was going there and i ended up getting a lot of blank t-shirts at this sale just because there were so many good ones i'm not going to show you all those blank t-shirts because they're literally just blank t-shirts and they're nothing really excited about them and I'm doing thrift flip with them. So you'll see them when I have like a thrift flip or something to do with them. So I'll leave them out just to save time. But the last item that I got from Talese at the sale <laughs> was, I wanted to cry when I found this. I was so excited, but anyways, it is this vintage guest jacket. Like my mind is blown. I, I, I don't know. Do I really need to say anything? Like, come on. It's a vintage guest jacket denim jacket like do I need to say anything or should I just move to the next item because like I don't know it's just like freaking amazing like this is definitely on like my top 10 best finds ever at the thrift store like look at this look at this tag look at that wow like <sighs> yes I am I'm so pumped it is it's just it's just so beautiful I don't know what to say. And now I'm gonna jump into the other clothing that I got at a different time at a different Talese location. So here we go. So the first item I found was this. This Harley Davidson shirt. This one's so cool. I've never seen one like this. This one's from Mexico. This is the back and then this is the front, which is so cool. It is a size medium, so it is a lot smaller than like the oversized ones that I usually find. Or So I thought this one was really cool. It's very unique and I was like, sure, I'll get it. Sure, why not? Okay, and the next item I found was this Forrest Gump t-shirt, which is from actually Bubba Gump Shrimp Company but there's multiple locations for this restaurant, which I had no idea they actually put it into a real thing. Obviously it's from a movie. I did not know that. So next time in Anaheim, I'm definitely gonna go go to that restaurant because that, that's freaking cool. I love Forrest Gump. I was so happy when I found this ringer tee of Forrest Gump with a quote saying, stupid is as stupid does. And I don't think I really need to explain this shirt. Like it's, it's just so cool. Okay, and the next item I found was this racket. Ball, I'm assuming long sleeve obviously I don't play it because I don't know the terminology but I really like the colors and the stripe on this shirt it is a nice long sleeve it's kind of thicker so it could be like a sweater too I really really want to like crop it because I think it'd be really cute it is very long so I could keep it long I'm not too sure but I got it I believe this one was $6.99 I don't know why I'm remembering that so I think it was $7 I don't think there was so for this one but I really liked it because it was vintage and I'm a sucker for vintage. The last item I'm gonna show you is this Harley Davidson hoodie, which I haven't seen any Harley Davidson hoodies. Usually it's like a tee or it's like an actual zip up jacket. I haven't seen a hoodie. So this one's really, really cool. It actually has the Harley Davidson like tag in there. So it's not like a fake one either. This one is actually from Harley Davidson of Medicine Hat in Alberta, Canada. So that was really cool. I usually find stuff like all across the States, but I haven't really seen any that were like across Canada so that was really cool to see this one I really don't know what else to say about it I really liked it I thought this could be another thing that you could do a nice thrift flip with but then again I think you know let's do a thrift flip with every single item that I thrift but sometimes you know you can't thrift flip everything you know you gotta leave them 
as is. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this one yet. I thought it was really nice. I don't know. I might put it in my store. I might not. I don't know. I'm a very indecisive person, so I really don't know until I know. That, that makes sense, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But this is a really cool hoodie. It looks super comfy, and I got it. I hope you enjoyed this thrift with me and thrift haul and extra thrift haul or whatever you really want to say. I'm just really blabbering on now. I really should stop talking. Yeah, right now. So I'm going to say thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you do like thrifting or thrift with me's or thrift flips or anything really to do with secondhand stuff, um, I do a lot on this channel. So you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram at Jenna Thip, so you don't miss out on any of my behind the scenes of these videos and also little other thrifting stuff on there too. If you like, if you like thrifting, which you probably do if you're watching this video still, because I've been talking a lot about thrifting and used clothes. So but yeah, anyways, I don't have anything else to say, so I'm going to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was an extra little thank you for you, because you're still watching. <laughs> anyways, I need to stop talking, so I will see you in my next video. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I just, okay, I'm going to stop. I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.